So now I'm gonna talk about something really important. If you want to shut down your Azure virtual machine just to save money. Okay, so there are two options to shut down a virtual machine. Each of the two methods have different effect on the cost of your Azure subscription. One way you will still get charged for the compute resources and the other option will free you from paying uh, for the compute resources and help you reduce your overall cost. Okay, so we have first option is stop it and the second one is stop it with reallocated. So the first method is to shut down an Azure virtual machine that sounds logical on the context of connecting with the remote desktop. So, as you see from here, I can uh, log out, click on log out, and then uh, shut down my machine from here. That sounds logical. Uh, so, the first method that I just showed you is just shutting down the operating system. In this scenario, you will be connected with remote desktop and when done with your work, you go to the power option within the Windows operating system and then select the shutdown option. Okay, with this option, you will just shut down the operating system. But the second method, and the important one, is to remember to go to into Azure Portal or use uh, the Azure CLI or Azure PowerShell and use Azure to stop the virtual machine. Instead of just shutting down the operating system, Azure will also deallocate the compute resources allocated for this particular virtual machine. This will release the compute resources to be used for another customer within Microsoft Azure. This will cause Azure for no longer charge you for the compute resources and Azure will report the statue of the virtual machine as being in a stopped deallocated state. Okay, you can stop your virtual machine manually or using Azure CLI or Azure PowerShell or anything you want. So uh, I'll click on stop. A warning will be shown public IP address. My IP address will be lost if the virtual machine is stopped. Do you want to reserve the public IP address or you can easily click on OK. OK. You will notice in the statue from running, it will change to uh, stop it and deallocate it. We'll wait here just to see the result. You see the statues change it to stop it, deallocate it. What you should be aware of when shutting down an Azure with virtual machine, so it gets placed in the stop it, deallocated statues uh, as you see. Since this causes Azure to release the server associated with the virtual machine, it not only releases the CPU and memory resources, but also the dynamic IP address allocation. Due to this, when you start your virtual machine back again, the IP address will likely change. If you require the IP address to never change for your virtual machine, then you will need to configure a static IP address for the virtual machine. Now, to start up a stopped machine, just click on Start. Uh, another point that's important to remember when stopping Azure virtual machine and placing them into stop and deallocated statues uh, that you will still pay for the Azure storage account usage. Remember, the storage account is where the virtual machine's PHD disk image file is stored. Storing the virtual machine retains all the virtual machine setting configuration as well as the FHD image stored in the Azure storage. As a result, you will still incur some cost for the storage, uh, but at least you will save on the virtual machine resources. After all, the storage will only cost a small amount of money compared to the much higher cost of the virtual machine resources allocation if it were left running constantly. And you can also uh, auto shut down the virtual machine on operation section. Just click on auto shut down and enable it and choose the time again and then save it so that was all about creating and stopping and deallocating virtual machine hope you like it and hope it was beneficial to you see you on my next video and stay safe